Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about reports like generating reports in Excel. I am Dr. Gomati and in the previous video we have already discussed about what is a report and how to create a word layout. Before proceeding, I would like to tell you that uh, this is my GitHub page. So I'll be uploading all the uh, code, reference codes here in this page. You can find it. This is a public GitHub page. So you can, if you want the code to refer, like you can get it from here. And this is my blog. You can find Learn with Gomes. That is, this is the blog where you'll be uh, uh, learning everything step by step. So this is the how to create a word layout report here. So I have explained it uh, step by step. So you can also find it from here. So with no wait, let us go to the concept. So this is what this is this is what uh, the table which we are going to consider so these are all the tables we have so we are going to consider so let us consider let us take a uh, vendor okay vendor table to generate a report so for that we need to create a report i will be creating using the az wizard that is the extension which is the simplest way to create any objects in bc okay you can also create it using the snippet that is also fine but here now i'm going, just going to use the az wizard so these are all the objects which you can create it through um, bc that is uh, visual studio code so i want to create a report uh, that is a new report i'm not extending any report i'm going to create a new report we will also discuss about how to extend a report in detail in the next uh, upcoming videos so this is what the object id and i'm going to give vendor report this is the object name and here you can select what is the source table which you're going to consider so i'm going to consider the vendor table okay so i'm just giving vendor application area is equal to all so you have to give this i have already discussed about what is this application area is equal to all so if you want if you give application area is equal to all you can search and find your report here okay if you are giving a report something the name of the object you can find it here if you are giving this application area is equal to all if you are not giving this then you cannot find it okay so this is not a mandatory field but this is good to give this application area is equal to all and the usage category is what report and analysis we are going to report and we are going to generate a report so we are we are using report and analysis so in the next you can find the information about the vendor so I'm going to create, I'm going to just use the, what to say, so name of the vendor, okay, and mobile number of the vendor, and where he is, okay, you can use the city, and also you can use, um, if you want uh, anything else, you can just uh, check, like partner type, okay. So anything else like priority, refunds, whatever you want, you can add it. Before that, I would like to see whether I have uh, uh, entries in the vendor because it, uh, I wanted to see that, right? So I'm just clicking the vendors list. So you can find, okay, I have at least five uh, uh, entries over here. So I'm just using this and I want only these three, uh, these four. Okay, I can also use, if, if you want anything else to add, you can add it, okay. Directly you can add it or else you can leave it as such. And I will also add the balance, okay. So click next. Now you can see that complete information, that is all the column, everything has uh, 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 has displayed here. Now we wanted to uh, add two more important property. One is what the layout, okay. So I wanted to use Excel layout, so I'm using Excel layout. And you wanted to give the Excel uh, name, name for the Excel, okay, dot XLSX. Okay, so this is what the extension, you have to specify the extension XLS. This is Excel spreadsheet, Excel sheet and X is what the format, that is current format. Previously, before the latest version, this is like Excel, Excel S only. And you wanted to tell also, it is better to tell what is the default layout. So I'm just telling Excel is the default layout. No one thing that I haven't created this vendor report manually. Okay. I haven't created this vendor report in the XLS because by default, BC will automatically create that report for you. Okay. So let us execute this. So I'm just pressing control S to save it. And you can also use control shift B to create a packaged extension. 
um so it is saving and i'm pressing control shift and b to see whether yeah success the package is created you can also see the package is created now let us execute if you press control and f5 you can see that the vendor report.xlx is created okay and you can find this report in the uh, in the folder where you are saving all your uh, uh, AL programming okay so you can find that uh, in the AL programming page so this is what the report where I'm storing all the uh, information and here if you just open that uh, vendor report you can find it okay so meanwhile what we'll do is we will go ahead and you can format the report once you execute the report what you can see is um, you can see the uh, column like this okay this is the difference okay when we executed the word file you can check that video in the previous uh, that is the previous video which i have launched it so that is the report using x uh, word file word file will not automatically uh, um, generate this such template okay you have to go and configure everything in uh, excel it is automatically it is configured okay because you know it is uh, uh, you can see that these are all the column which we have added and it has generated like this so if you want ev like more data to come in you can you can just expand it so no one thing that this is what uh, this is the uh, excel is used to display that uh, data in a table like structure okay so it by default it will automatically display it as a table like structure okay so you can execute it again okay i'm sorry we'll save this and again we'll save this and execute it again okay when the report so you can find the vendor, vendor report so that is why i have given application area is equal to all so if you give like download okay it will render the report and you can automatically see you can open this excel file to see the data into the excel port so if you want your report to be in this format okay this is the tabular format okay this is the complete information about the um, uh, about the vendor list okay only i have uh, six so, sorry only i have five people in the vendor list so it is by default is coming up i think there is no information on the partner type so it is not showing here so that is that is what uh, only i have uh, if you wanted to display your report if you wanted to submit your report in an uh, um, in a tabular structure that is uh, you can directly go ahead with the excel layout itself okay other than this you can format it if you want if you want to add the logo you can add it whatever it may be you can just add it and uh, um, format it clearly and if you want to go ahead with a word file i have discussed it earlier like you have to configure something if it is a word file you can uh, you can go ahead with the invoice templates you can create a document any type of uh, document related stuff because we'll be configuring it separately okay so in the next video i'll be discussing about uh, how to create an rdlc report like what is the essential software you need to download before you execute that and then you can also create the rdlc design structure and then we will see how to do that i hope you like this video if you have any specific topic in your mind to learn in business central please leave that so this all these videos are specifically for technical consultant this may be useful for a functional consultant if you want to be a techno functional person so um leave your uh, uh, leave your comments on topic which you wanted to learn uh, and any other uh, uh, any other specific criteria which you wish to learn thank you take care bye bye